hi this is a continuation video from uh, sling model part 2 in this video we will discuss about few more annotations so let's start uh, take an example if you want to pass any variable from sightly to sling model right how so you how you handle that uh, variable or the value in sling model so let's see suppose I want to pass a variable uh, call r attribute and then value I am passing here is static you can pass any dynamic value as per your need so for that let me zoom it okay for that you have to this is the syntax you have to use at the rate then whatever the variable you need to pass and you need to pass on to sling model and then value you can pass either dynamic value or static value for the simplicity I'm just passing this static value so uh, then how you get this uh, 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 variable in sightly so there is a annotation available to handle this we used to call it request attribute this this request attribute annotation is available so use request attribute this is the syntax then you have to give name is equal to the variable whatever the variable you used in sightly and then you can use any string now the value of this variable stored in this string so now use simple getter I created a getter in the in this model as well as in the interface and I'm printing this value in uh, sightly using this the same you know how to print that this way so let's reload the page and check the value so after reloading your request uh, attribute is available here so make sure that uh, value is coming test attribute and we pass the test attribute here so you can pass any dynamic value as well so you pro pass this value and if you want to apply some business logic and all you can do it uh, sling model and then you can return okay okay let's take one more scenario suppose you want to get some resource in your sling model one way is and straightforward which you are using for, for long time is get resource resolver and from resource resolver you can get get resource and then your resource object is available but there is a annotation available by which you can get a particular resource so the annotation is and this resource path you have to give the path of resource for which you want to get so you can get any resource right now I'm getting the page my home page as a resource and via resource obviously you are using sling HTTP servlet uh, request so you have to get it through resource and so this resource will be available here means this object is of this resource so let let's uh, write a getter to display this in sightly uh, so I wrote a getter in uh, interface and a uh, home page name in it uh, model and as well as I wrote this uh, to display it in sightly right let's build that so after refresh page you see here my name is available my home page what I mentioned here return uh, resource dot home page means home uh, home page name so that is return here so in that way you can get some resource using the re resource path annotation using this uh, resource path annotation okay there is there is one more important annotation called post construct so what is the purpose of this annotation so if you want any method to be executed after all the injection has been completed suppose this injection this injection once all the injection has been completed then you want if some method to execute so so that post construct annotation is used for so just write use uh, 
post construct and notation then void in method okay in it you can give any name to this method or you can have more than one method in within a uh, sling model so this is my method so once all the injection has been completed this method would execute if you want some processing or some things uh, some execution uh, should be done uh, once all the in injection has complete you can write within this method uh, so let's print these objects values in this init so I am using log uh, don't worry about it how we are using it for now you can just make remember you can use logger factory then get logger and the name of that class and this object by this object you can print your log either info error debug whatever you want so let's do it uh, let write Uh, so in this method i am printing current page dot get title the current page whatever i am getting here this title of this current page and uh, the path of this resource so this resource home page i want to print that path so it should print this so let's build and see logs uh, so let's reload this page once this page is reload your model will be called and that method will execute and this will print those two values in logs so let's reload okay my page has been reload let's go to logs so I'm opening this project specific log and you see see both uh, I printed that page dot path let me uh, zoom it okay this page let me put it at the bottom and see this okay my page title was author bio where my component is and then path of that resource so the purpose of this this uh, uh, annotation is to write any method which execute after all the injection completed okay so let's discuss one more that is important suppose in many scenarios you want to call any service OSGI service whether it's your written or out of box available so to call that service there is a annotation available called OSGI service so to call any annotation uh, service you can use uh, this annotation at the rate OSGI service here you can give uh, whether that can be your service or the out of box service uh, suppose I am calling query builder out of box right now I don't have any service so query builder and this query builder so now this query builder service is available in your model so in that way you can call any service okay there is a one more annotation called named purpose of that annotation is when you want to impersonate your uh, property name with some other name uh, to just make your getter easy uh, let's take example you are using that component give me let's take example you are using author component on a page and this page have uh, many properties suppose you want to get uh, take this value last modified by so let's see let's write let's inject with named uh, in this way you define like my I, I want to call this property GCR call in last modified by and I will be using this name for this property so when it is used so it is important uh, or good to use when your uh, property name has columns or something to make your name bit easy and easily use in your getters or your name to make your getter uh, usable like you don't want to use this property every time jcr colon so you can impersonate this property with this name so now you uh, throughout your model you can use this property so this sorry this is string so let's write a getter for this also uh, so i have write getter and setter and same way i have added a one more entry in sightly so let's build check okay build has been completed let's refresh this page 
okay the modified by did not come let's check what is the problem comma okay okay we we are directly using it we have to inject this via resource because you know that uh, that we are using http sling servlet request so let's inject this via resource and this, let's build one more time so after completion build and reload you can see that admin is coming so last modify in that way you can use named property whenever you you don't want to use the complex names and you can impersonate those properties values with some other uh, string value or the variables so in this way you can use it so in this pro uh, tutorial we discussed about named property request attribute resource path osgi service and uh, post construct so in previous three videos i have almost explained uh, whatever the annotations we use in sling model in aem so if you have any query or if i miss something please let me know in comments definitely i will explain again thank you very much